Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, we have got another fun project inspired by Brian. He would love to make this emoji. I've got a way, so let's get cracking. Of course, we're in a brand new project, and we're going to put Pac-Man emoji. Then we're going to bring out a sphere. I'm going to tell you to hold down shift, stretch it to Crazyville. We're going to put in the number 60 and press enter. You can use the plain yellow or you can go to custom and find something you think is even cooler. Whatever you use is absolutely awesome. The next thing we need to do is cut it out. We're going to do that by doing control D. We're going to switch and make the second one a hole. We're going to hold down shift and we're going to squish it. And I'm going to tell you 55 is the number you want to type. I got lucky and got it the first time. We're going to take those two, choose a line, make the yellow one the master, click on the corner. I always love to look at this from the corner so it's easier to understand because we want the middle that way and the middle that way. And then finally group them. The shortcut for that is control G. Now we need to cut a mouth into this. Let's look back at our base design. It has a pretty big mouth. We are going to do it with the round roof. We do need to flip it. So click here and click here. We're going to hold down shift and stretch one of these corners. I'm going to tell you the number we want to use is 40 and press enter. If we look back, you can see that mouth curves under just a little bit. Watch this. We're going to do control D, lift the other one all the way up, make it a hole, and then we're going to stretch it crazy wide until it does what we want. So I like this. I'm going to do control up. I think that's going to be pretty darn cool. I'm going to select the two of them. Shift select. Choose a line. Make the bottom one the master. Choose middle and select group. Turn it into a hole. Now friends we can select those two and choose a line. We care about this one and we also want it to be to the front this time. I'm going to do control up to raise it up. I'm going to look at it from a corner, change it a few degrees. Notice that one came in a little bit so I can nudge it out. We can also adjust if we want to make it a little bigger. This is where you can have fun and make it custom. I like that right there. Just one final align. Select them both. Hit middle. Let's group it and see that awesome mouth. After a moment, oh my gosh, I think that is pretty darn close. All right, this one's kind of tricky. Watch this. We're going to do Control-D. I did Shift-Nudge to move it away, and I'm going to ungroup it. I want to take this piece right here, and I'm going to turn it into those teeth. So I'm going to make it a solid, and I want it to be white. I'm going to do Control-D again, and I'm going to make that one a hole, and I'm going to push it down. I'm going to pull it out so that you can see what it's cutting, Check it out, friends. There are your teeth. Let's do control down to the exact size we want. You can also just change your nudge. So for right now, I went to 0.25. Control up gets a little closer. I'm going to select those two, and I'm going to do group. All right, so that was step one. Now we need to cut it the right way. We're going to use this piece, but we're going to do control D, and we're going to save it also for a second project. So double click on this. Click on the yellow piece, hold down Alt-Shift, and stretch it out to, say, 77. Click somewhere else, and it'll group. And if we hit T for transparent, check out what we made. It is now thicker, so we can trim this to be like this circle here. So watch how this works. Switch to a hole, nudge that shadow out to the front, till it's right there and now friends when we group those see how it's totally inside the hole bingo if it groups it'll fit where we want the teeth to be real quickly i'm going to just shift nudge this over into place and then bingo our teeth fit in there just like we want if you need to change the height of course that's just the up and down you can make your smile however you want once again if we look back that's pretty darn sweet friends let's make this just a tiny bit cooler if we do hide see how far this sticks back friends that's just a little bigger than we need so watch this if we just bring out a cube 
we can lift it up to the same spot and we can just use that to trim it so it's exactly the way we want you don't have to be perfect but if you do control G that looks a little nicer on the inside notice that didn't cut all the way through if I double click you can see here this is where I didn't push down far enough so I can just adjust get it right click somewhere else and bingo that's what I was trying for let's do show all to bring it back we are going to use this one friends to make the inside of this black let's start by making this black and now we're going to quickly make it hollow by doing Control D, taking the second one, making it a hole. Let's shift shrink and we're going to type 56 again. Select the two of those, choose L for a line and we want it to be middle, middle, middle and grouped. So friends, I want to cut this opening out. I'm going to do it with a cylinder. When you bring out the cylinder, let's take the sides to the max. Let's look at it from a corner and we want to stand it up. If I hit F to fit view, it's easier to see that corner. If we hold down shift and rotate, it's real easy to get the 90. Now we're going to make it a hole and we're going to do shift stretch. And we know that the mouth was something like 40. So let's try 45 and see if we like this. If I select a line and choose middle and middle, bingo, bingo, we can then group that. I am going to push it in just a little further to make sure it cuts where I want. Control G to group. Now friends, remember this is the exact same 60, so we're going to make it a tiny bit smaller. Let's hold down shift and do 59. All right, friends, because we trimmed that, we have to align it a little different. Let's do shift select choose a line and we want to of course bring it to the center and the middle and then we want to line it up with the back you can see that looks pretty cool if you do one or two nudges forward bingo you can get it absolutely perfect oh my gosh this little guy is looking pretty darn cool let's look back at our image we need a tongue I'm gonna to make that with a squished sphere let's bring it out I'm gonna max the sides let's make it red I'm gonna shrink it down and let's bring it into place you can lift it wherever you want I'm gonna just nudge it forward till it pokes out and lifts up so I'm sure I got it exactly where I need it I think that is super fun bingo now we need to find eyeballs friends I've got an amazing set of eyeballs type in new and we're gonna find something called the new banana when you bring it out we need to find a fun curvature you can adjust it to whatever you think i did something in the twos that's pretty sweet i'm gonna pick the black let's look at it from an angle so we can stand it up once again shift rotate is the bomb because you can go 45 degrees at a time let's take a quick peek back yeah that is pretty darn awesome I'm going to take two of these, so I'm going to shift squeeze them a little bit, control D, shift nudge. I'm going to select those two and do control G to group them. Shift select on our cool little emoji, choose a line. We're going to click center and let's take them right to the top. And now I can alt shift shrink them so they're the exact way I want those are pretty cool now I just need to attach them to the head so notice I'm just driving them back in and then I can real easily pull them out that way I'm sure they're attached and you can have fun making them look just the way you want friends quickly a huge shout out to Brian asking for this fun project I'm also looking forward to seeing what other cool emojis you guys create now friends when you finish a project don't forget to return to this screen. You can click on properties and you can make it so everybody can see it. First type in a name, then of course add a description. I am making this tutorial right now. Of course add some tags and then I recommend you make it public. And since I want you to follow the tutorial, I'm going to say make it no derivatives. Once you hit save changes, everybody will be able to see your cool creation in the gallery. 
Remember when you first click, you get to see the staff faves. If you switch to recent, don't forget to shut off the staff picks so that you can see all the amazing designs, including awesome new sim projects. Friends, remember if you think one is cool, make sure you take time to give it a reaction. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.